reversing aging, well, this is something people dream about and I, I hope we can, well, I think first we should start by just slowing it down and then um, ideally we would like to be able to reverse it. I, I don't think uh, theoretically it, it's not impossible, it's just uh, more issues needs to be done to find out really how to do that. But there are still certain treatments, for example, with mice uh, that were kept on this low calorie diets and then some of the signs of aging actually were reversed to some extent. So I think it's possible even with such simple measures. And of course, once we find how to fine tune those process, biological processes, maybe we could it more efficiently. Uh, I think genetic engineering, there is still a lot more needs to be developed to make it safe. Um, and um, it may be, you know, we would have to engineer a lot considering how many small changes in multiple genes need to be made. So I would think first through drugs, uh, that would just change, uh, let's say there are certain processes uh, that drive aging and then if we could pharmacologically manipulate those processes so and this way it's uh, more reversible than gene therapy, uh, it could be done like with a, just a pill that person takes and then if there is a side effect you can just stop taking it. So I think that would be the way to go. And, you know, then as technology develops, maybe we'll be able to change the genes as well. There are drugs that change chemical or biochemical processes in the cell. For example, there is a drug called rapamycin um, that's been known for a long time. Um, and it's actually used in people to treat certain conditions, but not aging. And so it was found that this drug can slow down certain metabolic processes within cell. And once they're slowed down, actually aging slows down also. So this drug was given to mice. Mice start to live about 15% longer. Uh, so in people, there are some trials of it. It has side effects, so it's not something I would recommend everybody goes and start taking it, but ideally it could be perhaps improved and, you know, made safer and then people could start taking it just to change the biochemistry of the cell. Well, of course, we don't have data for humans, but this drug was tried on drosophila, on the fruit fly, and they live also longer, but proportionally to their lifespan, so it seems to be really proportional to how long a creature lives.